luxury is really about the attention to detail from the design to the materials and the way that the item is crafted. Hermes is the epitome of luxury and their handbags are among the most desired items available today. The company began in 1837 as an equestrian harness and saddle maker in Paris, France. They introduced their first bag in 1892, the Eau Aqua, which was a roomy bag with two top handles, a fold-over flap, and belt-like straps at the top. In the 1930s, the company designed a small travel bag for women. It featured the same fold-over flap and belted top of the Eau Aqua, but was smaller and more structured in its trapezoid shape. In 1956, Grace Kelly was photographed carrying the bag during her engagement to Prince Rainier of Monaco and the bag became linked with her name in popular culture. However, it was not until 1977 that the bag was officially renamed the Kelly. Each bag is handcrafted entirely by one craftsman from start to finish in a detailed process that takes up to 18 to 24 hours. The company is still family owned today and their products remain unparalleled in their quality and are truly heirloom worthy investments. Vuitton is one of the largest and oldest luxury handbag makers. The company's origins are also deeply rooted in fashion. Their history begins in 1835 when a 15-year-old Louis Vuitton started an apprenticeship with a Paris trunk maker and packer. His stackable waterproof trunks were more practical and better suited for train travel than the domed versions that were dominant at the time. His son George continued to introduce improvements, including a so-called Houdini-proof lock and developed the now familiar checkered and monogram pattern in an effort to deter counterfeiters. The rigid trunks soon gave way to smaller, softer luggage, such as the Keepall and the Duville. The first handbags were offered as early as 1892. Many of the most coveted bags of today are modifications of earlier designs. Chanel is synonymous with French style. Gabrielle Chanel first introduced a quilted handbag in 1927, but the one she offered in February of 1955, sometimes known as the 255, is the most well-known. The quilting, chain, and pockets are all integral elements of Chanel's fashion designs. The Chanel Red, which is a deep wine shade, was first introduced in 1927. The pockets were designed especially for a lady's needs, with custom spots for lipstick, compacts, and a small zippered space where Chanel is rumored to have kept her love letters. Karl Lagerfeld was hired as the creative director in 1983. He is a master of reinvention and has successfully updated the bag in his unique style. He added the interlocking C logo, an update from the simple rectangular Mademoiselle lock of the original. Lagerfeld has helped transform the simple purse into a legend. People are drawn to luxury items such as these out of a sense of respect for the heritage, a desire to own these small works of art and pass on something to the next generation without fearing that it's going to go out of style. <laughs>